Greetings, everyone, and welcome to another Amigo Museum Mint Off Card episode. Our subject this week is another in the horror series from Wave 6, the famous interim wave. I am talking about the mo probably the most interesting character in the series, the werewolf. As I had mentioned in the Glow Dracula review I did last week, that there really wasn't much for me on paper to buy a third iteration of the werewolf. I had famously bought the Target uh, Face of the Screaming Werewolf, and I went back to the well for Wave 5 when they redid the card, because I, I really liked the card, the character, the figure. However, when I read about this, I just went, eh, I can pass on this one. So Amigo obviously anticipated that there might be a law of diminishing returns with a third Wolfman, and decided to add a gimmick or make a change that basically would entice me, the cynical consumer, into making a third purchase. And boy, did they come up with a good concept. Honestly, I kind of think this might be a dare. They have flocked him head to toe. Electrostatic flocking is a process that gives G.I. Joe his fuzzy beard and all the wallpaper in my childhood house texture. While Amiga was not the first to flock action figures, obviously, this is probably the first time I've ever seen one that looks like it's head-to-toe flocked. Take that, Moss Man. The packaging artwork in this line seems to fall in with the other characters in that it's a kind of a generic look. The words exclusively Migo are new, and I'm kind of interested in to know what the backstory on that is. Uh, the back of the card, obviously, just again, some stock art. This is no problem for me. I plan to rip this guy right off the card and play with him. How could I not? So let's do that. Cue the music. One of the things I want to say about this figure that I like is that, sure, you can call yourself Mego, and you can put out 8-inch action figures, but one of the really essential components of Mego Corporation back in the day was its highly creative and innovative people who came up with weird concepts and ideas like the spinning transporter, which became just an amazing fun toy that you didn't even need batteries for. And when I see something clever like this, you know, something where they're firing on some cylinders. They're taking a reissue figure and going, how can we make this fun? How can we make people want this? I, I really am encouraged. I'm excited. And, and this figure does that for me. I really love this idea of flocking. And it's just clever and kind of hilarious. And I love his little ripped outfit. And I'm assuming that is uh, Rachel Baker again. Yep. So I highly encourage you to pick this guy up. He's a lot of fun. I... I will eventually put him down and put him in my monster collection, but right now I can't stop kind of like rubbing him. It's a nice little tactile feel. Um, I look forward to more stuff like this. Migo is really coming up with some great gimmicks, and I like it very much. Uh, you can order these at Entertainment Earth, where I got mine, and I'll put the link down. Are you a Migo horror fan? Tell me your favorite figure. Uh, let me know in the comments here, or you can hit us up in our Facebook group called Migomania 
Also, the forums at MigoMuseum.com have been running for over 20 years with people discussing vintage, custom, and, of course, brand new Migos like this. We'd love to have you. You can also join the Migo Facebook group, Migo Ambassadors, which is exclusively run by Migo Corporation, which gives exclusive reveals, and you can speak to Migo Corporation yourself. Thank you again for watching. I hope you'll hit like and subscribe. Until next time, buy what you like, folks. Take care.